Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Welcome to Teacher Tea Time. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Glad to be here. Wonderful. I would love to talk to you about your awesome teaching skills and experiences. So tell the world all the cool things that you've done. Okay. Well, I've been a high school art teacher for four years, and I also taught middle school for four years with Sarah. And it was wonderful. It was amazing. Um, I've taught a variety of things from 6th through 12th grade in AP Art. I've taught uh, classes with Minecraft. Um, I've taught classes with Guild Wars and Literacy and Joseph Campbell's Heroic Journey. Um, and now I am tutoring. So I am tutoring in math and science and reading at the high school level. And that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I like it. Nice. Um, we were right next door to each other. I was very lucky. She was like my teaching sister. Like whenever we needed to do anything or needed comfort through collaboration, we got to put really cool things together. And one of the things I found the other day, just thought of it, was um, an article about our Angry Birds. Oh, that, that was so fun. <laughs> it was so cool. So the band learned how to play the Angry Birds song. Mm -hmm. um, but more importantly, you guys did the paper mache. Yeah, we made these little plaster angry birds. They're about this big, sometimes this big, when we got out of control. <laughs> and uh, little angry birds. And then we decided that they looked too good, that we kind of need to fling them for some reason. You know, like a real angry bird. So we built sets, and her band okay. played the... Uh, the song to it and we reenacted live action Angry Birds. So cool. Yeah, I mean who knew that you could have so much fun with a spaghetti colander slingshot. You make everything fun and that's one of the things I wanted you to talk about is the play and games and motivating children to learn. You are so good at that. Well, I think that whenever I want to do something or whenever I do things and I enjoy them, I'm more into them. I'm like fully involved and I feel good about it and I want to do more and I want to do my best because it's part of this big thing. And kids basically feel the same thing too. Uh, they need buy-in, they need to be excited and, and I think we can get that from play. So when you introduce play into all your activities or as many as you can, as many as feasible, uh, it makes school fun and exciting and less about let's learn this thing because we have to and more into let's learn this thing because we want to and then let's take it further because that was super cool. That's awesome. So tell us about your job right now that you're doing as a tutor. So right now I'm going into high school classrooms and um, it's weird not being in control of my own space but I'm adjusting because I don't have to take my stuff home which is awesome. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm going into other spaces, other educational spaces, and just becoming part of that classroom environment. When we're reading, I'm reading with the kids. When uh, we're picking out books, I'm helping them find books that they like and enjoy. Um, we're doing an art project right now in one of my tutoring classes. And Perfect. Yes, and it, that's my comfort zone, so it mm -hmm. makes me feel good. Um, I go into the math class and help with math labs and uh, run activities and just kind of be there. I'm just an extra extra brain and eyes and set of hands and it's, uh, it's fun. I like working with the kids, especially when they need me. Um, that's super cool. It sounds very different than the job you had before. It is so very different. <laughs> it is like I have no good, I have let go of all the control and I get to just go with the flow and uh, be part of a thing and help. So it's, it's good. I like it. That's wonderful. I noticed you put up um, a grant through DonorsChoose.org. If you don't mm -hmm. know about DonorsChoose, you should look it up. Um, mm -hmm. But you're doing a Donors Choose for the group of children you have now. Yeah. Um, to get, how, what is that? It, you had a good title to that. It was um, Reluctant Readers Need Deliciously Addictive Books or something, something along yeah. that line. But I think that really speaks to who you are as a teacher, like <laughs> having delicious books. And I, I can relate with being a reluctant reader and finding the right book is so important. Yeah. I actually didn't like to read when I was a kid very much until I found Calvin and Hobbes. And then I just could not get enough of it. I mean, it was so fun. It was so sweet. It was exciting and imaginative. And I just kind of grabbed onto it. And I realized like comic books are the best. They're just super great for me. Not for everybody, but definitely for me. So what's good in education? Ah, um, I think right now I've got a group of 44 new kids. Um, I don't get to see all of them at my new little school, but I get to stick with about 20 
a lot and I get to see them in all different classes and just forging relationships with kids again. I spent two years not teaching and I, I missed it. I didn't realize how much I would miss it. I mean, I knew I like kids and I like teaching, but like, oh, it's just so nice to be with a group, you know, just see them learn things, see the little light turn on, uh, see them struggle with things that they hate and then like overcome that, figure out ways around it begrudgingly, you know, <laughs> learn science. Like it's, it's nice. I like it. That's wonderful. It feels good. And I know you're working for a, a fantastic leader right now. Your principal is amazing. Yes, she was our principal. She was, she was our principal. She's really awesome. It's just really nice to work with somebody that you know is in education for all the right reasons. They want to go in. They want to save babies. They want to make the world a better place by creating this learning space and just jumping right into that. You don't have to do anything except be and buy in and flourish. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that it's it's a really good thing to work with uh, motivated leaders mm -hmm. and people that hold you accountable. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's my cheers to Dr. Skipper. Yeah, yeah that's right. We're talking about you. You're awesome. <laughs> so um, I really appreciate your time and thanks getting to be me. one of my interviews because you're an incredible teacher. So thank you. Well, thanks, Sarah. I think you're an incredible teacher and I love hearing about your chorus kids oh, and your drama you. kids and... All the funny little antics that go on. And there are always so many fun stories. Oh, gosh. Well, thank you again. And thank you. Cheers. <laughs>